This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of July 31st, 2023. We are only a week into Venus retrograde and the returns are already coming in. What have you found yourself thinking about, yearning for, being beset by? What old passions and interests have popped back up, at least in your thinking? What intriguing, interesting new people have you met? It hasn't been all fun and games for everyone, I will admit. I've heard tales of tears and mourning and grieving and ancient, ancient traumas connected with self-worth coming back and saying, hmm, here I am again. We're in a good long stretch of self-paced soul retrieval, so see if you don't stumble upon bits of yourself you'd like to reincorporate into your life. And uh, watch out for invitations and encounters with people from a very young age in your past. High school and college keeps lighting up for me, and I certainly have had that showing up. This week brings a measuring point, a point of culmination, a point of clearing based on a lot of what we have been experiencing and reviewing and revisiting. We're all getting another pass at the sorting hat in the Aquarius full moon, which is on the 1st. This one is pressuring indulgent, beneficent Jupiter in here and now, make it real, I want to touch it, taste it, own it, Taurus. He always amplifies whatever he gets near, and he's getting a huge boost from action hero Mars in the fix-it zone of Virgo. And this means that emotional escalating dramas, developments, realizations have extremely strong streaks of who's really here for me, who really values me, what is solid, what is reliable, and what is healthy. Full moons bring release. This one is more objective and less emotional than most, given that it is in the detached intellectual energy of Aquarius. But even so, there could be some turmoil and drama Venus is in Look at Me Leo, even though she's not in the middle of anything going on in the full moon configuration. One feature of Aquarian energy, when it's done, it's done. Switches flip and they don't turn back on again. This means that friend groups, associations, community involvements that don't fit who you are at this point in your life may simply snap. People leave, you lose interest in a second, and there might not be significant immediate communication about this. It could simply be whoosh vanishing acts occurring. Mercury is in a standoff with Saturn and opposition, which can create challenges, difficulty actually making a connection, and another indication of taking a step back and looking at things rather than diving into the middle. Now, if a situation or a group of friends or even items on your wish list are healthy and valuable and supportive to you, it will be easy to do stuff to further them and to make things right if there's any level of cleanup that needs to be done. But if something has run its course, there is no effort you can put into it to make it right for who you are now. And as the weekend builds, unlikely that you'll want to put effort into that. There is an extremely self-indulgent vibe brewing with the sun squaring Jupiter exact on the 6th. This is, I want what I want when I want it, and I want more, please. More attention, more validation, more feeling good about myself. This could lead to a wonderfully social and enjoyable weekend. Homing thought of the week. Love me or leave me. Song of the week. Turn, turn, turn by the birds. That's old. That fits Venus retrograde. And the image of the week is 
graduating from high school and the class dispersing each person in his or her own direction. You'll learn more about this in my forecast for the Aquarius full moon, which is up at my site, empowermentunlimited.net, where you can sign up for my mailing list and book a session with me. I'm Kathy Beal, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years experience. I host the show Celestial Compass on Ohm Times Radio on the first and third Monday of every month at 5 p.m. Eastern. I also host Lively Conversation on Facebook at Empowerment Unlimited and the group The Astro Insight Lounge. I have lots of bonus content at patreon.com slash Kathy Beal, and I'm really grateful to the people who support my work there. I'm on Instagram at at K.A. Beal, also on threads, and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian Channel. Talk to you next week.